Could the quest to conquer prostate cancer inadvertently compromise sexual health? This question looms large in the minds of many undergoing treatment for prostate cancer, a condition where the treatments themselves often carry side effects that ripple across various aspects of life, including sexual function. Today, we delve into how different treatments for prostate cancer, namely surgery, radiation, and hormone therapy, can lead to a challenging condition known as erectile dysfunction, or ED. Understanding these implications is crucial for anyone navigating this complex landscape of health management. Starting with surgery, specifically radical prostatectomy, this procedure involves the removal of the entire prostate gland and can immediately impact sexual function. The extent of this impact largely depends on whether the nerve-sparing or non-nerve-sparing technique was used. With the nerve-sparing technique, there might be a glimmer of hope for recovery within the first year, though it's not guaranteed. On the other hand, recovery of erectile function after a non-nerve-sparing technique is less likely. Moving on to radiation therapy, the approach is less direct, but no less daunting. Whether one undergoes external beam radiation or bracket therapy, the onset of erectile dysfunction tends to be gradual. Typically, symptoms start to appear two to three years after treatment. Without intervention, this type of ED can become permanent, making early consultation and management strategies essential. Hormone therapy introduces another layer of complexity. This treatment can trigger erectile dysfunction as early as two to four weeks after the start of therapy. Often accompanied by a decreased desire for sex, the effects of hormone therapy on sexual health can be profound and, without appropriate treatment, permanent. For those facing ED following prostate cancer treatment, the road to recovery can include several options. Oral medications like Cialis and Viagra are commonly prescribed. Other treatments include intracavernous injection therapy, vacuum constriction devices, intraurethral therapy, and even penile prostheses. Each of these options has its own set of considerations, and the effectiveness can vary from person to person. In conclusion, while the primary goal of prostate cancer treatment is to eliminate cancer, the side effects, particularly regarding sexual health, can be significant. Understanding the potential for erectile dysfunction following surgery, radiation, or hormone therapy is vital. It underscores the importance of ongoing conversations with healthcare providers about how to manage and potentially mitigate these side effects. Navigating prostate cancer and its treatments is a complex journey. For anyone embarking on this path, remember, proactive management and consultation with healthcare professionals can make all the difference in maintaining quality of life.